Hey everybody, it's Heather. I'm gonna paint my nails here live. So I ordered a couple new polishes on eBay. We're gonna use our gel light that you can get even at Walmart or Sally's or online. Some gel polish nail surface cleanse, gelish brand. I got that on eBay really cheap. Have some nail cuticle oil we'll use. It has this cute little mango magic uh, leaf in there. So it smells really good. We'll use that after we paint. Some cotton items so we can remove any grease from my nails. I've been doing it all wrong where I would just go ahead and start painting the color on my nails and I would never remove any of the grease. So I'm going to start removing all any, any kind of yuck on my nails before I paint from now on. So sorry for misinforming you guys. I mean, it works still regardless, but anyways, from now on, let's clean it first. So our first step here is going to be to do that. Um, I do have three different colors. There's like this cream right there. I painted the outside. I actually need to put these underneath the light to cure that color then i have this like taut or kind of light tan coffee like color i don't know what you'd call it and then a darker coffee like brown color so i have a bunch still coming in the mail and then this is a matte top coat soak off uv led um, I've never purchased a matte coat polish before so this will be my first time to do it so i'll show you guys what it looks like and I am interested in I need to file my nails I painted this weekend and everything but I'm interested in maybe filing my nails to be like that sharp point at the end so I might work on that eventually so these are what they look like we'll see how long it lasts update you in another video you don't necessarily have to shake this it's just a habit I do so I'm just going to pour a little bit on there. You don't have to actually have too much. Just a little bit. And I'm going to just rub it lightly. Get all the oil off. And I'll say hey to you guys. Hey, over here. I'm going to point the screen down that way. Just thought I'd show you guys while I paint my nails instead of sitting here quietly. I am loving this UV LED polishes and so happy that I use it now. So again, we're just removing any oils first. I was never doing that in my old videos. And now we've cleaned and removed, like I said, the oils from the nails. So in my other videos, I was putting on oil before I would paint them too. So that's a huge no-no. Again, we'll use this after we paint our nails from now on silly me okay so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and go with not the cream and not the dark mocha color but i'll go with the one in the middle it's more of like the nude color it is let's see if it has a number it's n u o o five i get it on ebay for like less than two dollars some of them maybe three dollars it's only eight ounces but you don't need a lot and again that's the color and i'll have more colors to show you guys in the future i hear not to shake your polishes you put air bubbles in it so i'm just rolling it in between my rings and my fingers to kind of mix the color up and you can go pretty quick too if you need to okay all right you guys can see some pretty good action here okay some people will even put um, a clear coat down first I don't do that I just put two coats of the color then the top coat and then we're done and as you know some of you may know I'm using the cuticle oil now so that's awesome okay I really like this color. Maybe we'll do one of our fingers that color. See what the difference is. And this is the first time I've ever used it. So this is the consistency. Pretty good. 
turn on this light, y'all can see more. Nope. <laughs> okay. That um, alcohol rub stuff really dried out my nails. So this stuff really better stick better now. Okay. All right. Some of you may not prefer these nude colors, but I really do love them. Um, and I had a long piece of hair on there, so I just took a clean finger and rubbed it right off. And you can just go back over it with some more color. Um, there was a long, probably a fuzzball string, like from these cotton pads that was in the polish. So that's one coat on those. Well, I said we would do a different color. We'll do it on the other hand. One. See, do, 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 do. We're going to put it in the light. You can do 15 or 30 seconds. I kind of just do 30 seconds always. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it does, but it's still going to last for you. <clears throat> and I do like to do one hand at a time because um, it does get a little more fuzzballs if you don't hurry and cure all the paint. Um, and... At the very end, even after you put the top coats, it'll be st sticky, tacky. You will still need to wipe it off a little bit with a cleaner, and then you're done. Keep watching, and I'll show you. Okay, that's the difference. One coat. Kind of just looks natural, right? Instead, sometimes my nails just look yucky like they do now. And they'll look a little bit more professional with some top coat on top. So we'll see what the matte top coat does when we get to the end of this video. Okay. All right. So we're going to do this hand again, our top coats. Or our second coat, sorry. Um, and then we'll proceed to the next hand when we completely finish this one. Because as I said before, the fuzz balls and the stuff will start sticking to these nails. And if you mess up a little bit on the edge, just take your other hand and go right around the edges. And you can do it twice if you need to. Here we go. Got a little mess up there. <clears throat> Here we go. And last pinky. Going to cure it in the light. For about 15, 30 seconds. It's weird, this kind of polish just kind of has my thumb burning just a little bit. Let's see, pause this video here. Okay. I to pull up the chat there just in case we get anybody with some questions. Ta da! Unfinished. And this one has the second coat. 
So now we just need to do a top coat. All right. And again, we were going to use the, um, I guess this is Elite 99. And it says that it is a matte top coat. I've never purchased matte before. So hopefully it'll be <clears throat> pretty, I guess. And it's just a clear, kind of a little bit fuzzy, just not as clear as our normal clear, shall I say. Okay. Ooh, it's got a lot of product in there too. And this is a bigger bottle. It's a 10 milliliter. So I probably paid, I don't know, $2.99, 3 bucks for it, a little bit more probably. <clears throat> still shiny okay there it is the bright light and cure it in the light Never tried any of these products before till now on this video. So I'll have to update you guys in another video on how I like the products, especially this matte top coat should be interesting. Okay, that's done. Now the last step we need to do is remove the tackiness, but I don't really have to do that right now. I can do it here in a minute. I'm just gonna let it sit. And we'll just work on this next hand. And so our first step is to grab the same color, this kind of nude, pale, tan color. Um, again, it's N U O O five. Got it on eBay for like a dollar ninety or dollar fifty, some less than two dollars probably give or take. Um, I know I got a couple of them. All of them were under like $3, so pretty good deal. Okay, so we already removed all the excess oil from the nail with this, just this nail cleanser, and I think you could probably just use some fingernail polish remover too. So... Definitely, I'm not, uh, if you ever watch Simply Nail Logical, she doesn't file her nails very much at all. Um, she's like scared to death of it in her videos or whatever. If you file nails, um, and I, I believe her. So I think at least um, you don't have to file and buff up your nails before you paint it. Um, you should do the cleanse and remove all the oil. So. The light is blocking it, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's see. Put it way up here, right? Let's see here. It's like a mocha tan, tan light tan sand color. Nude. Ish, nude ish. Okay. Clean off the edge. Wipe off the excess polish. Trying to get a tap on that left. Are 
you're making a video and I'm video bombing you. <laughs> so we'll take all that. Mm -hmm. Why are you not even talking in the video? Because I'm just painting my nails. Do you want a drink? Sure. Thanks. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Tired of my nails not being painted. <laughs> he doesn't savvy. You don't savvy at all. You didn't know what it's like to have to paint your nails. So there's one coat. There's this hand has two. Need one more coat of paint and then a top coat. I can't oh that is cool. The mat kind of looks like chalky. Alright. I see the difference now. I wish I could do like a clear coat and then a matte coat and show you guys the difference. That matte is pretty cool. I like it, even though my nails look like a mess, right? Need to clean it up right there. Okay, so moving along, second coat going down. Because we did cure it. Okay, got distracted there. Wow, that is super cool, the matte color. Never used it before. It's the new thing. Oh, we're needing some more paint for real over here. Okay. I think my skin looks really dry because we've been swimming a lot in the sun, too. Putting on all that sunblock. Made a mess on that one. Kind of. <clears throat> One more fingernail, and then maybe I'll raise up the camera and I'll say hi to y'all. Hit. Okay. Come on, excess polish. Wait for it to drip and then wipe it off so you can get a smooth, smooth coat of polish. And I made a mess. Scrape it off carefully. Carefully in the light. Okay. This is not very okay. Here we go. Hi. Oh. Then we need a clear coat. Hey, pickers. What's up? Painting my nails. They've been uh, looking bare for a while. Ugh. Not much. Hanging in there. How are you doing? <laughs> Been swimming a lot. It's summer. Almost done. Y'all ready? <laughs> to face the wooden table. Okay, so second coat is on. We're going to do our matte coat. Y'all can see that difference already, can't you? My nails are really short, too, because I cut them off. A couple of them broke. Okay, matte coat going on. And I kind of had painted the edge, but it's like, didn't work out well. I didn't put it in the light, either. Um, you know what? I don't think I shook this one last time. Nope. Maybe we should do that. I doubt it affected anything. 
Mm -hmm. eBay. Uh, what does it say on the bottom? Clean. Okay. Clean. Okay. Matt going on. Ooh, that's cool. I do kind of like the matte finish. It's pretty awesome. Here, let's try to do something here. Maybe you can see more over here. Light. Yeah, it's like a foggy clear. Then it dries chalky. Oh my goodness, did we not cure it enough on that side? It completely came off. So we're gonna put it under the light and repaint that side real quick. Awkward. We have to do a little repairing here. And it's burning, so weird. Sometimes it would do that when I would go professionally get my nails done. Sometimes under the light it would burn. And it's going away now that it's drying. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I need to put some more color on that nail. Oh, bummer. So I'm having a garage sale this weekend, and I'm super excited to get rid of crap. <laughs> and then I can go shopping and buy some more stuff. So, I haven't been shopping very much lately, even though my husband kind of encouraged me to go today. I told him, stop it. You're so enc encouraging. Okay. So, if you can't see, yeah, when I put the clear on it, it completely just took color off. I guess it didn't dry it. So, we're just going to repaint that whole nail. It's going to have three coats, two on the side, right? Okay. Even though I put the clear on, we're still going to just paint right over it. Ta da! Cuticles are all jacked up, too. Alright, try this again. Even though it was burning my thumb. Let me open the chat, see what's going on. Oh, you love your new iPad. Congrats. Oh, that's a good deal. Hey, Mr. Just DIY. Chillin', chillin'. Just painting the nails. We went fishing today and what, been swimming at the lake. It's time to paint my, toe, my fingernails and my toenails, really. We're just doing the nails here, people. Just the nails. Fingernails. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what, guys, if, there, if, if there's a couple guys in here you need a present to get your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, get her a gel LED UV light if she likes to paint her nails. They're not even that expensive. Probably under 50 bucks. And it is thebomb.com. And then she doesn't have to go get a manicure, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. DIY your nails. I need to learn how to make a DIY chalk paint. I need to buy some. I think I'm just going to buy some, but I've done, I've watched several YouTube videos on how to make chalk paint. Mm. And for some reason, I still don't feel uh, confident enough to uh, make my own chalk paint at home. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we haven't put a matte top coat. We're doing a matte top coat last, and I haven't done it on these nails. Tried it on that one, and it messed it up, so we're going to start over. There we go. My husband is gaming out in the background. You may be able to hear that. Maybe not. I don't know. Yay, it didn't take the paint off.
<clears throat> so I broke down and bought, like I had said in the beginning of the video, all new polishes because I tried to do the French tip on my toenails, which costs like $40 in the salon if I get it done professionally. Um, so I try to do it myself at home. And when I do it with non-light polishes, I tend to scratch it and it messes up. So I went on eBay and ordered some gel LED white polish. It has not arrived yet. So I'll be super excited um, because I do prefer my toenails to have the white little tip at the end. <clears throat> um, and so I'm super cheap and I don't want to pay $30, $40 to go sit in the wonderful massage chair which is absolutely wonderful. I bought my own polish and I'm gonna try for the first time ever and stick my toes in this UV light. True story, it's gonna happen. And I look forward to seeing how it will look. Sandy messaged me about that. Menzel, okay, gotcha. I'll look you up. Let me write it down so I don't forget. I'm going to cure this again on the thumb, even though we already did that. So, you know that. <clears throat> I don't know if I can get a pencil to write down. Okay, I'm going to write it down because I totally forget. Am I going to do it live, Pickers? Hey, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to master it first. And if I can draw a good straight line, um, I'll have to use the other fingernail polish pen because the pen on the tip is, like, perfect. Probably clean it with polish remover and then use the pen in my gel light, white, gel white and do the tips. So yeah, I might do it live if I can get it figured out. That is so funny. Okay. Oh, I'm just writing it in front of everybody, huh? Um, okay. I painted my garage, you guys. Well, half of it. Half of it, not all of it. Okay, so here's the final product right it's messy I know but that's okay that can clean up and it'll come off like a day or two after wear oh it's really messy you can get a q-tip and clean that off really well and if I just keep rubbing on it it'll peel right off too so no worries on that um I don't ever care you can't hardly see it <laughs> it looks messy right um, it's sticky, so let's try to remove some of this stuff. And then we'll put some of my handy dandy cheap, this stuff is really inexpensive, nail cuticle oil. <laughs> You're funny, pickers. Am I going to do my gel toes live? That would be funny. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, I always hate removing the tackiness because it removes some of the color. I try to watch YouTube videos on that too, on how to do gel nails perfectly. Perfectly better, shall I say? Yeah, that looks messy. I can take my cuticle scissors also and kind of go around here since I didn't even do that. I didn't even push back the cuticles. Like, oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm happy with them. They look <laughs> messy in some spots, but I don't care. Um, cool, let's see. Yeah, screen print. I should screen print it, the instructions on it. Okay, okay. Got some cuticle oil. Anybody use this stuff or anything like it? Okay. 
mango, California mango magic cuticle oil. So cool how that's a real leaf in there. I'm assuming a mango leaf. I got this at Sally's. We'll do one hand at a time. It's brightening up that mat too, making that mat look a little shiny. We're going to be very kind of generous with this because my cuticles are really dry. Like I said, from swimming and being in the sun. So I'm just going to massage them in. Ew. Um, I like the mat and it's kind of rubbed off the color some there. I don't know because I'm still learning as you guys can tell. Um, how to paint with this gelish color. Definitely need to fix my cuticles. I think I'm not in the brightest light right here, but anyways, it's okay. It's okay. Who's complaining? Me, right? It's rubbing it in. Rub, rub, rub. Dab, dab, dab. <clears throat> And really, this concludes our video. I'm just going to do my other hand as well. Super happy some of you joined in and stay tuned. I haven't done a live video in a while. So, thanks for hanging out. Like I said, I haven't been shopping very much because I'm going to have a garage sale this weekend. And I already have a bunch of crap. <laughs> I cannot wait to go shopping. Thrifting, that is. Okay, I think we got all the nails. Rub it in, rub it in. Pretty cool, right? And literally, if I had used regular polish and not the LED light, I would be sitting here for five minutes, just sitting here waiting for these nails to dry. Unless you want to use that like instant chemical spray that I never really purchase ever, but it is totally cool. But it's like aerosol, so it's not even healthy for you. Sometimes it doesn't work that great, but um, yeah, sitting here forever trying to get my polishes to dry, messing them up, and this dries in like 30 seconds. It's badass. Really cool. And this cuticle oil is amazing. Mango. Super, super good. And now my nails are painted. Stay tuned. I'll show you guys all the colors I got. I probably ordered like, I don't know, 10 colors. These are the colors that I purchased recently that have come in the mail. And then my top coat mat right here. See you guys on the next video. Bye.